Hello and welcome to my next two rooms in the Underdark series. First up is another corner piece and I'm calling this one the Brimstone Seam. There is going to be a strange ore running from one corner to the other. Here I'm melting out a couple of lines that I'm going to place some small rocks in later. Here I'm just adding a little bit of brown to the blue effect, just muddying up a little bit. And later on I'll go over with a metallic silver to show where the ore is. And this will get a black wash. And now for the second section. This will be a long L-shaped ledge. One side will drop off into a very deep chasm. The other side will have lots of plant-like features. One axis of the foam is too high to fit under the gauge on the Proxon, so I just keep it up against the bar and tilt it as I go through to cut the other side. Here you can see I've also cut off the wall section on one side. I melt all of the foam using a soldering iron, but I do these cuts on the area that's going to be the ledge by pressing into the side, angling them away from the top edge to make it look like it's kind of an overhang and makes it look just a little bit more dangerous. For one of the plant species I'm using this angled or penne pasta and then I'm going to take these drill filings and place them in the middle. These pieces of metal are often created when you use a drill press in particular to drill through some metal. A broken piece of spiral shell just to break up the repetition of plants. The connectivity between the walls and the floor and the different plants and the surfaces will be made using some artist gel. 
the different size beads will all be made to look like different size of the same plant species. I've used this bead system in the other rooms that I've done as well. I mostly set the beads in the gel or on a bed of Yoohoo glue and then once they're in place dripped a little bit of super glue over the top to just make sure they stayed in place. The tendrils coming out of the beads were made in some cases using these little bristles from a really old dried brush. In the other ones I just used some pieces of florist wire cut off. I tried a few different paint combos on these pasta plants, but in the end I went with this iridescent violet. It comes out kind of metallic, but I like the idea that the uh, outer shell of these plants had almost this inorganic metal plating.
Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you soon with some more of the Underdark Dungeon. Thank you.